Hi, and welcome to my series on 40 preparation tips for SEA. Here is tip number two. Today's tip will be on finding the whole given a fraction. There are many ways of finding the whole. However, to find the whole, you must first obtain the fraction that corresponds to the whole number it represents. Subsequently, you invert the fraction and multiply by the number it represents. This gives you the whole. Let us look at a section 2 type problem. Pause the video and read through the problem carefully. Having read the problem, let us now look at the solution. This is my working color. If they said two thirds of the pupils that attend a school are girls, then this means we do not know the whole number representing two thirds. So we do not know the number of girls at the school. However, they went on to give us the whole number representing boys. But because they gave us the fraction representing girls, we can find the fraction representing boys. The fraction that represents boys will be the whole minus two thirds, which is equal to one third. Now that we know one third of the school population represents the boys, and you were given the whole number representing boys, we can find the total number of pupils attending the school. To find the whole, as we said before, we invert the fraction, that is 3 over 1, multiplied by the whole number it represents, that is 40. When we do the calculation, this gives me 120. And so we conclude that the total number of pupils is 120. For example two, we will look at a section three type problem. Pause the video and read the problem on your own. Having read the problem, let us now look at the solution. Note that they gave you the fraction representing boys is two thirds. We can therefore figure out the fraction representing girls. This is done by subtracting two thirds from the whole. Three over three minus two over three, and this would give me one third. They also said that 60% of the girls wear ribbon. We can therefore find out the percentage of girls that do not wear ribbons. That is 100% minus 60%, which is equal to 40% of the girls. Remember, this just represents the percentage of the girls that do not wear ribbon. Let us work with one number system. Let us find out what is 40% of the girls as a fraction. 40% of the girls is 40 over 100 multiplied by a third. This will give me 2 fifteenths. This represents part of the pupil population that does not wear ribbon. Remember they gave us the whole number of the pupil population that does not wear ribbon. This means that the fraction representing this whole number would be all the boys plus the two fifteenths. This is because we are assuming that no boy wears ribbon. Therefore, the fraction representing the boys that do not wear ribbon and the girls that do not wear ribbon will be the sum total of two thirds plus two fifteenths. This would give me ten fifteenths plus two fifteenths. Remember, we change two thirds to an equivalent fraction 
with the denominator of 15, this gives me 1015. When we find the sum of the two, this will give me 1215. So now we have the fraction that represents the pupil population that do not wear ribbons. Now 1215 represents the fraction of the school population that does not wear ribbon. Given that the whole number representing this is 136, we can now find the whole by inverting the fraction. So we will have 15 over 12 and multiplying this by the whole number. When we do the cancellation, this would give me 170. So that the total number of pupils in the school is 170. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe for future videos where I will release more tips for doing your SEA Mathematics examination.